going on everybody welcome back supercross six in our career mode here in the 250 east just checking out our rider we got some broken ribs but everything else is looking a nicely copacetic here so we gotta be smooth and quick here obviously we want to be quick haven't changed difficulty again still running on easy i think what i said in the last video i think we'll wait till the 250 west career and we'll go ahead and change the difficulty then let's get on to the race yes it will we're in Indianapolis, shooting from the goggles view here. It's definitely a little weird to have it be muffled after the last couple of races in Daytona and Detroit, but you know, that's, uh, that's right though. It's a different perspective, which I like. I think uh, it's, it's still harder to for me to control but i think again i think that comes down to our riders just um overall health you know like if they're hurting then obviously we're not doing a good race oh jesus did make a small tweak to the bike though change the brake from moderate or modular to aggressive to try to slow things down i think i like that a little bit more didn't even know you could like change the wheelbase on these things like to have more ability to like jump further and jump more in certain settings but you'd have to know that before you kind of got to the track you know oh shit by the way we are in indianapolis which i will be at here in not too long not for supercross though oh shit fucking it up we are fucking it up i'll be in indianapolis for the indy 500 for memorial weekend it's not too far away uh, i think we're two weeks give or take i uh, forget how far out it is it's trying to get so much done god damn we're like we're all over the freaking place holy shit um trying to get a lot done here at the house you know Works super busy. Just cause I just cause I'm an adult doesn't mean I go to work and come home and have fun. Cause oh fuck fuck fuck. Um Yeah, that's definitely not the case, man. I come home and I uh work in the yard and get things cleaned up and got a lot of tree branches i'm trying to trim down now from trees that i've trimmed and now i'm trying to cut all the branches down and get it all burned and or at least get it set so i can start burning it clean up stuff from last year and never ending never ending house chores those who have those who are adults and know you know this is it's an ongoing thing. Buy a house. It's a great idea. Yeah, I love having the house, but man, is it a lot of work. Or if you pay somebody, it's a lot of money. So, like, where where's your medium at, you know? Spend money or spend time? I'm all right spending time. I don't mind being outside and getting a little work done. and Helps keep me in shape a little bit. Or well, just helps keep me, fuck, healthy. Thank God those ghosted, because holy cow, was I over overshot that corner all day. Well, I'm like overshooting them all. This is horrible. This is a horrible. Oh, that's not that's not gonna do us well. Just trying to go without falling. That's gonna definitely gonna injure our ribs a bit more. Yeah, so that's it. Busy, busy. How do it goes for the summertime? We only got, especially here in the Midwest, we only get summer for, or even good weather for limited time. We're lucky to get maybe a hundred days of summer, and of those hundred days, you might have sixty where you can actually do anything. You know, summer storms are a thing; they they roll in and screw your days up, and just gotta kind of do what you can and where you can. This couple weekends ago it, it just oh, fuck um, it, yeah there was that it just was that too 
it rained. It just was it just a shitty weekend, you know, like cold and for going into May, it was really cold. It was barely four, barely 50. Actually, I don't think it even hit 50 that first weekend. Woo! We bought screwed up. It was really weird. So yeah, you only I got so much time. Cold weather helps keep the leaves off the trees, which helps me trim trim anything more I need to, but still only so many hours in the day. My weekends aren't spent outside. I do a lot of stuff elsewhere. God damn, man, we are just... If we were on a harder mode, we would be really far back. Just not, uh, we're not having a clean race here. I don't know what they're throwing the yellow flag for, but... Nope, avoid the pylon. Yeah, this is a struggling race. I don't know which mode I like better to see. Uh, the goggles is nice, but it's kind of like the spot around my nose is really distracting. But it's very immersive. I will give it that. And if this race finishes like where it's at, we're going to have some changes towards the top of the leaderboard. But who knows? Kind of nice to see some other guys get to give different positions. What do you guys all got planned for summer? Any trips? Any vacations? Coming up on uh, the release for Diablo 4 is coming. So you guys are interested in me playing that on the channel. That's impressive. Well, that big crash definitely, definitely hurt us. We're back to bruised arm. We got a bruised knee and our chest is still all sorts of jacked up. So we're going to need to really get in shape. All right. Well, fuck guys. We are, we're in for a long haul here. I didn't realize that this event was going to be a triple crown event. So we need to do well all the way across the, all the way across the board. Fortunately, the events are short, but um, yeah, this is our second Triple Crown event. We had one right out of the gate at the beginning of the career. And now we've got another one here in, uh, in St. Louis. This means we have triple the amount of times to get our ass kicked. <laughs> or damage our own self even more. Our broken ribs are not helping us out by any means. They're painfully noticeable. But the fact that these lap, but it's only three minute races. Uh, so four laps basically per race. Means we have three times to get a whole shot and three times to get a perfect start. I don't think we'll get, but the whole shots I'd like. Oh God, we're way over there. I'm trying to avoid pylons and shit and screwing everything up. I like the goggle view for the dirt on the camera. Cause you know, like, like that's actually a thing, you know, like these guys gotta be at they, they don't just see clear as day, you know, like I hit the brakes. I'm gonna overshoot that corner one of these times. I already know it. Or this one. That one always like, I'm like, hey, look, here we go, straight, and then there's nothing there. So I didn't realize this was a triple crown event. Well then, all right. Qualifying, we're about 10 seconds up on Cole. Well, that's not how we want that to go, but we'll take that, we didn't fall, so it doesn't matter. That's all that matters there. Looks like Cole's way down the list. Let's look like RJ is uh, going to be our main competition here in this one. Seven seconds over him at the moment. Just because we're seven seconds now does not mean that's where we're going to finish come uh, come the end of the event. Ooh, uh, walk down there. That was oh shit. See. Anything's possible. There goes our seven second lead. Yep, down to three now. 
time. A timer's about to tick off. Which is what we need. Trying to be clean as we can, you know? Limit some of the damage. Damage limitation. That lap was just dirty. Just a, a bad lap. Wow, we really stuck that one in there. Holy cow. Keep this a little bit center here if we can. There we go. That's what we needed. It's probably a good place to do some tricks, but. Oh, God. First person trying to do tricks. I, I don't even want to attempt it. I feel like we will die. And in a triple crown, that's death is not what you want. You want to be consistent all the way across. All right. Woo. One down, two more to go. Round two, triple, triple crown. Ah, fucked it up again. I used to have the timing down real good. Oh, God. Nope, that's not what we want. That's not how we want that to go. So we got uh, RJ, Enzo, and Pierce were the top four. Oh, shit. That, I don't know why we keep crashing there. I crashed there once before, too, and that, it's not good. Not good at all. Racing in traffic is a lot harder than racing out front. We need to be, looks like Enzo's in front of us. Come on, guys, get out of the way. There we go. We don't need RJ to finish ahead of us. We need to get up there. Colt's fine. We just need RJ to come back down here a little bit. If we finish this far, we'd have to, like, we'll have to win out. There we go. Oh, this is, I feel like going to go bad. Yep. They're fighting good. I like it. I like it. It's forcing us to have to try a little harder to get around these guys. And we just, man, just can't keep the rhythm. Got a bad start, though, too, so that doesn't help. There we go. That's what we needed right there. That was a great launch. Down that. I didn't think we'd get, uh, get it. Time was running out. Wow, that's our good time. Minute flat. I think in qualifying, our best was like 103, I think. Yeah, I think it was like a 103 there. We're going to use that to my advantage there. Try to get us a little space. We need a breather. RJ is just hounding on us. He's, I think he's sixth in the standings. If he gets a, you know, if he gets a second place here, it definitely will help him out. Colt behind him, though, is not going to help. But I don't think, I don't know where Colt finished in the first race. Wasn't the top five, so. All right, fastest lap. Still a minute flat. Just need to hold on to it, not make any dumb mistakes. It's hard to be smooth on the throttle sometimes, you know? A 
lot of rear rear power here. Off the top of the berm there. All right. Good rotation. That's what we needed right there. That was a great way to rotate the bike. You got to remember that next time. Just a little tap of the, just the rear brake by itself. Then we got a good rotation. Get a little breather room. Down the last whoop section here. Final corner for the second time. Last main event, here we go. Man, couldn't even get it there. Let's not get a let's not get all jacked up in here. Let's let's be smart. Got the lead. We've only got two points. RJ's got four points. Um, and I didn't see who was third, but we'll we'll know here shortly. Oh fuck, we're off track. That was, that was, oh, Jesus. What's going on? We're losing it. I didn't change anything. Yeah, I don't know why we're, oh, motherfucker. What was up with that? And all of a sudden it was there and then I was just pushed off the track. All right. Okay, we're in front of RJ. That's all that matters right there, as long as that we finish in front of RJ. Everyone else doesn't matter. Oh, fuck me. Chad Lawrence. He's like, I think he's third or fourth in the standings. Eh, not real great transitions there. I don't know why we're so far out there. There we go. Rotate. Oh, Jesus. Hey, Chad. What's up, man? Appreciate the little bump. Oh, fuck. That's gonna... That's gonna send us. That's gonna... We're definitely hurting for that. You know we just took injuries for that. That... That's a solid, solid wall there. Wow, it's, it's wood in construction, but it's still going to hurt. All right, let's, let's get this thing under control. We're trying to throw this thing away quickly. Uh, hitting of the wall. I was trying to avoid it and tap it with the rear tire, but it uh, definitely didn't uh, didn't go as I was I had planned by any means. And we have no room for error now. Yeah, that hurt. You know, we, we broke ribs for sure. We're definitely going to be hurting. Get an update on our ride. Oh shit, we're off track. Off track. Oh god damn. I hate that shit. Like, timer's going down, but then you're gonna reset me. They do that in some of the trials too. Like, they give you a timer, and then, like, if you go off track, it it disqualifies you. And, like, then if you're just telling me to go off track, even the slightest little about, what's with the timer then? You know, like, oh, uh, RJ's. RJ second, I was hoping. Oh, Pierce has got him. Come on, Pierce. Let's keep it interesting. I need I need you to do something good for me, Pierce. Oh, Jesus, we're off track. Why are we constantly going off track, man? I don't understand what's happening here. I haven't changed anything. What was that? I don't know what that was. Still a huge block at him. He's gonna push back at us. I 
Well, they're all right there, too, man. Any mistake, and we're done for. Too many mistakes in this one. The podium, but it was sloppy in that last race. We need to we need to do better next time. Ooh, okay, so we got a sprained wrist from hitting the wall. It's not too bad, but it's definitely not perfect. We need to ride better. We need to ride a little more smooth. Uh, I think it's really affecting our riding ability. All three workouts done, too, which is hard. Like, they give you things like front flip, but you don't get enough. There's not enough height anywhere to get a front flip done. It's, it's weird. I don't know. We're wrapping it up, guys. If you haven't done it, hit the like and subscribe button for me. Helps out more than you possibly know. Upload three this week. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.